Hello, everyone. Who do we have here? Who are you? James from Crackshot. This is James from Crackshot. And James, um, could you just explain to us what we're doing today, James? Well, right, so I've got this uh, BSA R10 that's coming to the shop, um, but we've got a bit of a chronograph issue. So what we're going to do is we'll show you the chronograph. Um, I've just set the chronograph up for 8.4. Uh, down below, so you can see the 8.4 on the screen. Cool. So we're going to show you 10 shots with the um, original reg, mm -hmm. change it out for the humor reg, and we'll see the do difference. It, and we'll do, so we'll do the same thing again with the same palette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so space is a little bit of a premium in here. So like, as you're shooting, is it all right if I just get a little read on the crack? Or can you shout them out? Yeah, I can shout them out. Okay, no problem. So first shot with the 8.4s, and um, we've got a velocity of 599 feet per second, which is 6 point something foot pounds, 6.7, second shot, 823. Dang! So yeah, massive difference. Okay. 585, 828. 587, 836. What is it? Okay. Um, 821. So, what we're seeing here is about 300 feet per second difference. Have you seen that in a gun before? Yeah, it's normally typical reg failure. Um, I've had it with a personal EV2 of mine uh, where the actual reg failed and it was just up and down on the chronograph. Um, so, just explain. Oh, like, like this, this is a little new for me. What was that one? Uh, 591. So you're going to take out the regulator. Does it have a regulator in it already? Yes, yeah, so it's got the standard BSA regulator in here. So we'll take out that regulator, replace it with the human regulator. And do the same test? Yeah. Cool. C would it be okay if I film a little bit of you doing the work? Yeah, we can do that. Cool. All right, let's mm -hmm. go. Can you just explain what you're doing now? So just remove the action from the stock so we can see the regulator block. So the regulator lives inside there? So that's the regulator of this end here. So right. just there. Um, so that's what we will take out and replace with the nice shiny new one. Cool, okay, grand. Speak, I'm learning a lot here, but I was speaking to Eric about this. Um, he mentioned that if a customer opts to do this, ordinarily, do they get the gun serviced at the same time? Yeah, because while I've got the gun apart, it just seems easier to um, actually service the rubber all at the same time. Okay. Because you've got to strip it down, so it's just as easy to replace all the seals at the same time. And you'd, you'd always recommend that? I would if you was changing the regulator for the first time. I cool. would definitely do it. Um, at least you know everything's been serviced at the same time. Yep. So I know it's a bit of a cliche, but like mechanically, if like you get a car serviced, you want to do that to keep it running properly, right? Yes. Can you make the same analogy with a gun? Like is, is, is doing this money in the bank for making it run smoothly for the, your ownership of the gun? I mean, if it was a regulated gun, you'd probably want to get it serviced more often than if it wasn't. Okay. Um, generally, if it's not regulated, then you don't really need to get it serviced unless it's broken. Yep. But with something that's regulated, it might be worth keeping on top of every two to three years. Cool. So James, in terms of um, success stories, you've, you've mentioned before that you've done one of these on, did you say an EV2? Uh, I, well, the EV2 was a change of a slightly different rig, but this was, uh, I've done a few with the few R10s with good success. Um, Air Arms, I think the best one we had was an Air Arms S400. I saw the printout, you, the, you had the chrono results on Facebook, Was there was a tiny free per excuse me, tiny feet per second variation? Yeah, there was, yeah, it was something silly. It was, um, I think it was something like three or four feet per second difference over, it was like 20 shots. So can I just see the old regulator? Yeah, so this is part of the old regulator. It was all scummy and gone horrible. So that, that would be, so I can see there's sort of like corrosion. Yeah, all the, I mean, all the seals have gone brittle and horrible. Um, but yeah, this all needs replacing anyway, so 
Okay, so this is a me. great candidate for actually doing this procedure. Yes. You do look a little bit like a doctor as well, so even better. So we took a little bit of a break there because that was corroded and nasty. Uh, James, how's how's the procedure going so far? Yeah, not too bad. We should be ready to stick in the... Uh... The new rag? Yeah. So when you put the new one in, does it need to be tuned or dialed or anything? I, I really have got no understanding of this, so I'm, I'm learning. Yeah, so the regulators all... They can be preset, they can be... Uh, so we can sell them preset, uh, we can set them. Um, generally I'll set them very close to what you'll need. And you've got a guide along the side, it's not the most accurate guide in the world, but will help. Yep. You've got a little screwdriver slot and a dot. Okay. The dot will correspond to what is wrapped on the label. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the label's missing, you might just you know, sort of tweak it, or you'll need to get a regular um, pressure adjuster. Uh, this is preset ready for this gun. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, so I order all of them in 177 carbines. Okay. Because I can then either turn the pressure down or turn the pressure up, depending okay. on what I need. This and is generally the highest pressure for the 177 carbine because you'll need more pressure to get the pellet up to the speed you'll need in 177, and especially with a shorter barrel. Um, 2.2 full length being the lowest uh, 75 bar uh, reg pressure because you've got, you don't need so much energy to get the pellet up to the speed of sub 12. Yep. Um, and you've got a long barrel, but yeah, so 177 carbine, normally the highest pressure, and 22 full length being the shortest pressure. So, would you talk to a customer about what's best for them? Yeah, or generally, if I've got the gun, I can then sit here and sort of adjust it to how I need it for that particular gun. Um, or, yeah, I can advise people over the phone as best I can. Cool, uh, but basically, regulator, yep. regulator block. I was just going to go in and we'll just start to just seat that bit where we get it to start on the threads. Sometimes it can be just a bit of a, there we go, just to work the bottom o ring over the. Yeah, no, sure. No, like, I mean, this is, I've never seen this before. I've heard about it a lot. People talk about it, but I've never seen this happen. I think this is going to be really useful for people. That's it. That's, That's it. Actually, the regulator fitted. So I'm just going to go ahead and put change the seals on the actual block. Yep. Reseal the gun, and then we'll do another chrono test. Cool. So that's that's the whole thing done. Yeah. Easy as that. Cool. Thank you. Let's have a look. So for um for the, for the sake of being ethical, we have just given this a run through, but well, this is like the first one with the gun back in the stock. James is just filling. Um, the magazine up. So James, just for my clarification, same pellets as last time? Yeah, yeah, so the Air Arms 8.4s. Cool. And we're gonna, on camera, test over the chronograph to see what the consistency is like now you've changed the regulator, is that is that right? Yeah, yeah, so we've just checked the power, uh, just give a bit of a run through, let the reg settle. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna just show you what the, uh, the reg does now. Okay, well listen, I'm gonna ask for you to, if you could call out. The yeah, I'll call them out as I shoot them. Seven seven five, so it's eleven point two. Seven seventy, so it's eleven point zero. Seven six three. Seven seven five. Seven eight two. Seven eight two. Seven eight one. Seven eight one. Seven eight one seven seven six. Right, sure. I, I got that on camera. So, so uh, what what most people will find is the first few magazines are sticking through the gun, and there will be about ups and downs. The rig's got to settle. Um, it all just needs time. To, the gun, you know, only been back together five minutes. Mm -hmm. It's only had a couple of shots put through it to see where it was. Um, so it will take time to settle down, but there's a vast improvement on what we've seen. Um, obviously we'll do some pellet testing and we'll just see what actually shoots and what is the best pellet in it, but that is just what I've got in the shop. Yeah, yeah, of course, so, so, so that, that'll be my job back at the range to see what group's best you mean? Yeah, yeah. Cool, okay. Well, what I think we'll do is, in a minute, we'll summarise uh, about how people can get in contact with you and all the pricing and all that stuff. Sounds good. Cool, Okay, good James, so I think it's important just to get a few 
um, insights about how a customer um, would need to contact you about doing this? So what would, the, would be the first port of call that someone would... So, I mean, if, like, if someone wanted to buy the brakes or get them fitted, they can call us on 0166 242971. They can call anyone in the shop, try to speak to them. Obviously, if there's, you know, Neil or Eric would be around, they'd be the best people to speak to. Um, we can talk you through the different brakes, um, whether you want them posted out to you, so if you yourself to fit, or if you want um, us to fit, pick up a brake to your gun, um, and we can give you sort of lead times. Obviously, I've got other work in the shop, so of course they, they're normally around two to three weeks sort of turnaround um, if you want to go in the shop. Extra fifty pounds, but you will get your gun serviced at the same time. Okay, so that was the next thing I was going to ask. So, in terms of the pricing, the, the job we've seen today, the change in the regulator on the R10, uh, if they wanted to do it in the shop, how much would the whole job cost? Uh, so, the regulator for the for an R10, for example, uh, which is this little chappy here. Uh, Package like that, they're £119. Yep. If you want it posted, £4 for posted, so it comes to a total of £123. Mm-hmm. And if you want us to fit it, it's £50 uh, for fitting, um, but that will include a service kit as well and a full service. So it's not just fitting that one, it is also getting the whole gun service. Um, and I'll set it all up on the chronograph and give you a reader of the gun and what it did with a particular pallet. Oh, fantastic, okay. And if people wanted to uh, send you a gun to work on, can we do that as well? Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, we've just got to work out uh, whether it's... Yeah, there's always the legality of things. Anyone can send a gun to me. It's whether I can send the gun straight back after having work on. I think I can. Uh, but they need to I speak to you. Transfer. But if they spoke to us in the shop, okay. um, that's something we can work out as well. Um, so I'm really looking forward to giving this gun a try and seeing what it groups like uh, and just giving it a run through. Yeah, yeah. I'll obviously report back. Um, but I'm really excited. Is there anything else you think people need to know about this procedure? Um, no, not really. Uh, obviously, there won't be any um, due to the guns that most of them have got anti tamper on. So, for example, on the R10 news we've just done, uh, you didn't see the anti tamper on there. Already removed the anti tamper purely because of the want people to see how I personally removed the anti tamper. There is different ways of doing it, but that's something that I think the customer should be figuring out, not me. If I'm doing the work, obviously the gun will be void of any warranty the gun did have. Yes, I think that's really important to let people know about. Um, I I think that is super important. And also as well, though, I think that if you are unaware of what it is you're doing, I would much rather send my gun to someone who did. Yeah, yeah. Um, Yeah, I mean, by all means, you can have a go. They are quite simple. If you get anything wrong, you break a seal or anything, we do have the seal kits here as well, under a tenner for the seal kits. They come with all the seals for the particular ring and a little bit of lube ready for them. Um, but yeah, have a go. But if you aren't feeling confident, then we're more than happy to help them. I can help you, know, you out getting your gun regulated. Grand. Thank you very much, James. I will see you soon. Cheers. Take care. Bye. So...